Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I shall be swatching this little palette here that was sent to me by Katie. Hello Katie. Uh, I got this um, I got this little parcel a few days ago from Katie. She was so kind and she sent me a little um, swatch card of with Schmincke Horridum watercolours and Da Vinci watercolours, the smaller one here, so that I could try them out from her own collection. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> um, so she sent me 20 dot samples from Schmincke Horridum and nine from Da Vinci. And today I'll be swatching these 20 colors for you so we can experience them together now um, I don't I've I've looked through these and I don't think I've actually tried any of these before so this is my first time trying any of these drink and watercolors um, I made a little palette in my a little oh, template palette in my etch a sketchbook so that I can swatch them and uh, keep a record of them in my sketchbook and we we can swatch them together and see what they look like I will have to wet them I think a little bit beforehand just put like dots of water on them and um, then swatch them out so that we can see what they look like together so I'm going to start off and swatch from left to right and we're going to start with Aurelian Hue which is PY151 just going to get some colour onto my brush wow wow that is that is very pigmented I only picked up a drop it's lovely it's like a middle towards cool yellow. Aurelian? Aurelian? Aurelian. Aurelian. Yes. I have my own pronunciations in my brain. And <laughs> they kind of stick. The next one is transparent yellow, which is PY 150 which is nickel azo yellow I think oh that's that's nice I've only tried like three or four uh, Schmincke Horridum watercolors before and what strikes me about each well those three that I've tried is that they they handle beautifully they they they're very easy to use you know they flow on on the paper so i'm really excited to try these out um this one is called transparent ochre it's py 42 oh that looks that's very lovely it's very earthy not too opaque which ochres can be and chalky that's nice next we have chromium orange hue oh wow That's a lovely orange. Oh, wonky circle. There we go. Next, we have transparent sienna. Oh, this looks lovely. Oh, wow. That is PR101. 
Wow. Oh, that's lovely. I love my earth colours. I really do. I can't get away from it. Um, Roman Schmoll was having a sale the other day and I was going through the, the colours, which I did order some. Um, and they have so many earth colours. <laughs> I don't know how many hours I was pouring over all the earth colours. Um, I just, when I see earth colours, something happens. I just, I get so excited. Um, Madder Brown. PR206. Thank you so much, Katie, for putting the um, pigment numbers on. That really is helpful. Thank you. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. It's very earthy, Madder Brown, that. Scarlet Red, which from what I can guess from looking at it, probably is a Pirole Red. Yeah, it feels like a Pirole. Correct me if I'm wrong. What is it? It's PR254. They flow so lovely, they, they, so nicely, so lovely. They flow so beautifully. It's so nice. They're so bright on the paper. I'll have to wait and see when they dry what they look like, but. Quinacridone Red Light. Ah, this is a coral, my my coral colour, PR207. A little goes a long way with these. I've just it literally picked up like a, a tiny amount of colour from each dot. Oh, Potter's Pink, another earth colour that I I love. I'm very excited to see what this looks like. PR233. Oh, it's very, very dark and earthy. It's almost like a Caput Mortum, but pinker. Wow. Mm, I'm not sure that um, that if I prefer this over the uh, Windsor and Newton one, which is the, the the one that I use quite a bit. It's very dark, very dark, and not as pink, I think, as the Windsor and Newton one. Next one is Quinacridone Magenta. Holy moly, that is bright. Yes, that, you know, um, no surprises there. I would expect. I'm looking at that coral colour. I'm looking at that madder brown that is almost, almost like has granulation in it, but I don't think it should. <laughs> but it does look like it does. 
Um, let's see the Queen Acridone purple, which is PV55. Wow. That is a very vibrant purple. It's beautiful. It's a warm purple. Next, we have Schmincke Violet, which is PB23, which is a dioxazine violet, I think. Oh, oh wow, that's lovely. That is lovely. Now that is one beautiful dioxazine violet. Next we have Ultramarine Finest. PB29. Oh, that's nice. That's much cooler. It's much cooler, Ultramarine. I'm trying to see if it has any violent hue in it, but I can't see it. It's very cool, ultramarine. My goodness, that shrink of violet. Holy moly. That is wow. Potter's pink is granulating beautifully here. Thalo Sapphire Blue is next, For our first Thalo colour, it is PB15 Column 6. Wow! Wow! That is a bright Thalo. My goodness, I'm sorry, I'm coming back to the ultramarine, the finest, how cool it is, really strikes me. And also the beautiful granulation that's happening, even though it's finest, which I assume means that it's ground, the um, the pigment is ground finer. Um, but there's a beautiful, delicate um, granulation going on there. Next we have Thalo Blue, this was Thalo Sapphire Blue, this is Thalo Blue, the next one we're doing, it's PB15 Column 1, Next is another thalo, it's Helio Cerulean, um, PB15, column 3. It's quite similar maybe to the that thalo blue, a bit greener. Next one is Thalo Green, PG7. Yeah. 
lovely cool green. Next is Viridian PG eighteen. Oh, that's lovely. I do love Viridian. It's nice. It's granulating as I'm spreading it. Next we have another phthalo, it's PG36, which is a warm phthalo green. It's called a helio green, sorry I didn't say the name. And the last one is Green Umber, PBR7. Oh, that's nice. Green Umber. It's a cool umber color. Okay, so those are the colours and as you can see, just for swatching purposes, I hardly used any from the, <laughs> from the little palette that Casey sent me. They're, you know, they're so pigmented. It's amazing. I love me a good, uh, a well pigmented watercolour. Um, just going to talk a little bit about what I think on first impressions. The Aurelian hue is lovely and bright. Transparent yellow, I mean, um, the uh, I th I, it's Pee Pee <laughs> It's PY150, which is an Azo. So, yes, it has a little bit, it's a little bit dull, but Azos can be there's like a, a dull edge to them, even they, they're very bright in, in, in one way and a little dull in a different way. Um, transparent ochre has granulated a little bit. Chromium yellow orange hue actually has trans uh, granulated a little bit. Transparent sienna. Um, madder brown has a little bit of granulation. Scarlet red. Um, Quinacridone red light. The potter's pink is quite duller and darker than I expected. Um, I probably would would lean still towards the window in Newton. The quinacridone magenta, quinacridone purple, the schmincke violet. Now the schmincke violet, which is I assume P PB23 um, dioxazine. That's beautiful. Now this I love. This is, wow. <laughs> Thing is, I keep looking at it and one at one point I think it's cool and then I see um, the, the, the light changes because we've got clouds and the sun goes behind the clouds. And then I see violet in it, like a really beautiful um, lilac blue. And um, I, I, I love it, it's like magic. I love this. The sapphire blue, phthalo, phthalo blue, helio green, phthalo green, the viridian. What a lovely, nice granulation it has here. It's lovely. Um, the helio green, I, oh, sorry, I said helio green here, helio cerulean, helio green, and the green umber. 
um, beautiful, beautiful colours. I am so thankful to Katie that she gave me the opportunity to try them out. Now I'm more educated and know going forward what I would order from Schminka Horridum um, in the future because I am planning on building a Schminka Horridum palette. Um, I'm still working on the Roman Schmall one which hopefully I'll, I'll finish with, the, with my order that's coming in. Um, and then I'll move on to a different palette that I want to build. Um, thank you so much Katie for giving me this opportunity um, and thank you also to all you, who, all of you who are with me and watching me and spending time with me um, during this little video. Um, next week's video, next week's video, I'm not sure if there will be one. Um, I'm going into hospital on Friday so I'm hoping that the weekend I'll be over the weekend I'll be able to recover enough but if that doesn't happen I probably won't have a video for next week but um, please stick around because the following week I will have one because <laughs> I can't do without you I miss you so much when I'm, I'm not doing videos um, I love just spending this time with you even though you're not in the room with me, it feels that you are. It's very strange, but it feels that I'm sharing this enthusiasm and love of watercolours with you. And um, I'm so grateful for you being here. Um, so fingers crossed, all goes well on Friday. I'll be back home. Rest, recuperate, and I'll be back in, not the following week, but the week after that. Um, hopefully, hopefully <laughs> the post office would have brought me some things. Yes, I know. I've become a broken record with my post office, but it is, it is getting a bit silly. I'm thinking of getting actually a, um, PO box because that, in that way, maybe it doesn't have to take so long. I'm not sure. I'm looking into it anyway. I am rambling and um, what I wanted to say was the little awkward bit at the end. If you like this video, please like this video. If you would like to see me swatching watercolours and other artist materials and rambling and talking to you about um, uh, beloved cats and my love of pigments and, uh, you know, my love. <laughs> my love of pens and so on and so on um please subscribe and please don't forget to hit the notification button I, 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 this is so, such a simple thing to say at the end of the video and i always mess it up um sorry um and also i love your comments love love you have your comments i would love to i love to read them um and I love to reply to them. So if you would like to leave a comment, that would be awesome. Let me know what Schmincke watercolors you liked from the swatching and what watercolors, Schmincke Horridum watercolors, would you suggest to me as my first watercolors I should purchase for building a palette, uh, building a Schmincke Horridum palette? Um, Okay, so I'll leave you here. I'll see you soon. I might upload an update from the hospital. I'll see. I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see. See you guys. Love you guys. See you soon. Um, stay safe. Stay creative. Stay hopeful. Don't let the dark things get you down. Keep with it. Keep with it. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.